Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we'll, we are going to be talking about the disappearance of this little boy whose name is Eton Pants. So Eton disappeared on the when he was six years old in the year 1979. So, is what we know about Eton is that he is a very loving boy, and so that year he wanted to walk to, and don't forget this is the year nineteen seventy nine and. Kidnapping murders are not that as common of like hearing of like compared to today. So Ethan wanted to walk to school, like walk to the bus stop, and his mother actually let him walk to the bus stop to have his independence. And on the morning of May 25th, 1979, Eton left his Soho apartment at 113 Prince Street by himself for the first time, planning to walk two blocks to board a stool bus at West Broadway and Prince Street. He was wearing a black Future Flight Captain Pilot cap, a blue corduroy jacket, blue jeans and blue sneakers with fluorescent stripes but he never made it to the bus stop and he never bothered the bus. At school, Ethan Rod's teacher notices his absence but did not report it to the principal. When Ethan did not return home after school, his mother Julie called the police. At first, detectives considered that he that the the pets the pets too is the possible suspect, as any case of missing kids, the parents are the first like person who is under suspicion, but they are quickly determined that they have no involvement in it. An intense search began that evening using nearly 100 police officers and a team of bloodhounds. The search continued for weeks. Neighbors and police canvassed the city and placed missing child posters featuring Ethan's portrait, but this resulted in very few leads. Ethan's father, Stanley, was a professional photographer and had a collection of photographs he had taken of his son. And Ethan's photos were printed on countless missing children, missing child posters and milk cartons and were also projected on screen in Times Square. And... His disappearance went on for like 42 years and in if I remember well that it was fairly recently that I think it was in 2012 that he was presumed dead because you know if a kid has gone on for so long as being missing usually either 
the child himself has come and say that, you know, I I may be the missing missing kid, and or the second part is that they are presumed to be killed. And I still believe to today to this day that he may be somewhere out there alive, but recently there's a guy one name of Pedro Hernandez who has been charged with murder of Ethan Pets because they went down to where the um he used to work at the what what do you call it that in the subway hut like it's a little bit like subway but it's a sandwich shop but it, I do not know the name of it and they had a freezer freezer storage in the basement of the shop and but his body was actually like never found and if he is dead his body should be stored somewhere in that like freezer room but I do want to believe that he is alive.